Hi everyone. In this session, I will show you how the import works in Brainboard from AWS. Um, of course, we support AWS and Azure, but for the session of today, I will show you how it works in AWS. So I have an infrastructure in AWS. Um, I created an EKS cluster. So here you can see the cluster that I created for this demo with um, the nodes here. Um, the desired state is two. And I created, you can see this EC2 instances created here. All right, so they are up and running. In terms of networking, I created a VPC with subnet, internet gateway um, that you can see here. This is in my VPC. I prepared this one for the demo and I have two subnets that I created for the demo as well. I have a road table that um, I did part of the, this demo. And I also created an RDS cluster uh, so that we can find here. This is the RDS cluster with an instance. Um, so yeah, this like uh, components that I created in AWS and I will try to import them into Brainboard and show you how it works. So first to import your infrastructure within Brainboard, you just go to new architecture, import the data, select the cloud provider. So we support both AWS and Azure. And here I'm going to select these credentials to import from, import from AWS. So when I click next, Brainboard now will give me the list of all AWS regions where I have resources and you can select the one that I want to import from. So here in AWS, I deployed this infrastructure in Oregon. So I'm going to select US West 2 and now instruct Brainboard to import this infrastructure from me. So once the import is initiated, I can, um, I can here follow the import in real time by clicking on the A, open the import. I prepared the link for the import here. This will give me, um, so here Brainboard is scanning my infrastructure to list all the resources that I have. Once it brings the resources, I will, yes, here I have the list of all these resources. Um, so the instance, the security group, the subnet, uh, the RDS cluster, DB instance, the road table, the subnet, and I have all the resources here. And this is a great way um, to move to IAC with no time. So I'm able to import this infrastructure in a few minutes, uh, generate the Terraform code, generate the design, and the most important thing is generate the Terraform state. And I will show you now how it works. So I can select here all these resources and I click next and that's it. So now Brainboard um, is creating the diagram for my infrastructure. It will automatically generate the Terraform code. And of course, to validate this, I'm gonna do a plan uh, to show you that um, this infrastructure matches exactly what I have uh, and I will explain it. So here, this is my infrastructure. So Brainboard imported everything. I have here, um, this is my launch template. This is the security group. I have here, this is internet gateway. Uh, I have the two instances with the complete configuration of the instances, as you can see here. Um, I also have the, the cluster, the EKS cluster and the RDS cluster. Um, very important information here that when Brainboard imports the infrastructure, the first thing is that it, um, it respects the relationship for the resources. So you can see here, this uh, network interface is inside the subnet, inside the VPC, inside the region. The same for the instance, the same for any other resource. And so here, when I click on this one, you can see uh, that Brainboard is referencing the subnet as it is expected by Terraform and not hard-coded value. So it's, it looks like a human wrote this code um, and for all the, the resources, for the secur security group as well, and for any other resource, I just select the resource and you can see what is expected. And also, for example, for the cluster, for the EKS cluster here, I have the configuration uh, of all the parameters of the cluster. Um, and one other aspect as well, when Brainboard imports the Terraform code from your provider, um, so this code will be generated according to the best practices, as I showed you, like for referencing the values and so on. 
but also in terms of um, if it needs, for example, here in my CloudWatch, CloudWatch event rule, this event pattern is expected to be a JSON. So Brainboard automatically add a function. This is a Terraform function, JSON encode to encode the configuration. And it's not just the text or a hard-coded value. Um, it has uh, some AA capability in it that generates the code in the best way possible. So here we're having like a um, few hundreds or like here seven, uh, six hundreds lines of, of Terraform code. It could be thousands of lines of Terraform code. For this demo, it's a, a small infrastructure, but just to show you uh, the type of resources that we import, we support everything from AWS. Once this is uh, imported, so and the Terraform code is generated, now let's click on the Terraform uh, plan here and see what's the, what's the status of this import and if the code matches what I have in AWS or not. So when I do this, Brainboard creates an execution environment for this task and will run a Terraform plan that you can see here and it will give us the output uh, of the plan. So first, now uh, Brainboard will refresh the state because we generate the Terraform state. As you can see here, it's reading from the state and everything is good, no changes, your infrastructure matches the configuration. So this is how the import works in Brainboard. That's simply it. Um, you move to IAC with literally no time. You just connect Brainboard to your AWS and bring your uh, brownfield environments into Brainboard. You have the Terraform code and the Terraform state is generated and you can start managing your infrastructure uh, in a good way from that point onward. Thank you.